I helped a client gain over 11,000 followers on Instagram in just one month using these simple tips. And if you follow them step by step, you can see similar results by the end of the month. And no, these strategies are not just some theories I cooked up that will just work for this one person. They have been tried, tested, and will actually work for you. Today, I'm gonna share how you can use them to boost your own Instagram growth. So we're gonna dive into six actionable strategies that can seriously boost your Instagram growth. I'll even be showing you how to leverage some cool AI tools to create some compelling posts with minimum effort. These tools can really make a huge difference, as well as a bonus tip at the end that most people overlook. So if you're interested in growing your social media following or interested in making money with social media, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have got loads of tips and tricks coming your way every week. So let's get into it. Step number one, define your Instagram goals. If you want to gain 11,000 followers in one month, just like my client did, you need more than just a goal. We're gonna need a solid plan. So let's set up a clear target so that we can follow it. We want 11,000 followers in 30 days. But to make this happen, we need to break it down with a practical timetable. So first up, we're gonna create a content calendar open a spreadsheet or use a tool like Google Calendar or Notion. So map out the next 30 days detailing the type of content that you'll post each day. So don't worry about the how yet, we'll get to that. Just write what you want to post. So for example, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we're gonna post a reel with trending audio or a popular challenge. Focus on content that is engaging and likely to be shared. So Tuesday, Thursday, share a carousel or high quality photo with a caption designed to spark comments and shares. Saturday, use Instagram stories to engage followers with polls, questions or quizzes. Sunday, post a motivational quote or a recap to keep your audience inspired and engaged. Plan your content in advance and allocate time at the beginning of each week to plan and prepare your content. So decide on the photos, videos or graphics that you're gonna be needing. Now step number two, optimize your profile to attract followers. So now that we have a content plan in place, let's make sure that your Instagram profile is optimized to turn visitors into followers. Your profile is often the first thing that people see, so it needs to make a strong impression. Here's how to make sure it does. You need to craft a compelling bio. Your bio should clearly state who you are, what you do, and why somebody should follow you. Here are some examples of how to structure your bio based on popular profiles in your niche. So for fitness coaches, you could have helping busy professionals getting fit with quick, effective workouts. Follow for daily fitness tips and motivation or for food bloggers, delicious recipes and kitchen hacks for home cooks. Follow for tasty inspiration or for entrepreneurs building a seven figure business from scratch. Follow for startup tips, strategies and real talk. Now you're going to want to use keywords and emojis. Now think of the keywords that relate to your niche or what your target audience might search for. So for example, if you're in the beauty industry, include keywords like skincare, makeup tips, or beauty hacks. Emojis can make your bio visually appealing and easier to read, but don't overdo it. Stick to just a few that match your brand's personality. Highlight your unique selling point. This is your chance to stand out from the competition. Ask yourself, what makes you different? Are you a travel blogger who focuses on eco-friendly tourism? Are you a marketer specializing in Instagram growth? Make sure your USP is clear in your bio. So for example, sustainable travel adventures around the world. Join me for tips on traveling green. So AI tools like ChatGPT can really help here. Let's just quickly hop over to ChatGPT and type in, help me write a compelling Instagram bio for a vegan chef who shares easy plant-based recipes. So you will get several variations that you can tweak to fit your style and brand. So for example, plant-based chef sharing quick and delicious vegan recipes, follow for healthy meal ideas and kitchen tips. AI can give you a solid starting point so you don't have to start from scratch. Now optimize your profile picture. Choose a high quality image that clearly represents you or your brand. If you're a personal brand, then a smiling approachable headshot could work best. If you are a business, then use a logo that is clear and easy to recognize, even in a really small size. 
So make use of Instagram highlights. Now highlights are an excellent way to showcase your best content. Create highlights for key categories like about me and client testimonials and tips and tricks or behind the scenes. These give new visitors a quick insight into what they can expect from your content and help you make a really strong first impression. Step number three, create engaging content. Now, to reach our 11,000 followers in a month, the content that you create really needs to be diverse and engaging. Now, the key here is variety. Mix up your content with reels, photos, carousels and stories. Now reels, these are currently one of the best ways to reach new audiences because Instagram's algorithm really favors them. Create reels using trending sounds or popular challenges to maximize your reach. Aim for short, snappy videos that really grab attention within the first few seconds. High quality photos and the carousel posts are perfect for sharing detailed information, telling a story, or showcasing multiple images in one post. Use the carousels to share step-by-step -step tutorials, before and after comparisons, or to tell a visual story over multiple slides. Now stories, use Instagram stories to keep your audience engaged daily. Now stories are perfect for sharing quick updates, behind the scenes content, or engaging followers with polls, questions, and quizzes. They allow for direct interaction and help build a stronger connection with your audience. You remember quality always trumps quantity. Think about what provides value, whether it's educational, entertaining, or inspiring. A single well-crafted post can perform better than multiple low effort ones. Focus on creating content that really reflects your brand's voice and meets your audience's needs. So now we're gonna use AI to create Instagram posts. With tools like ChatGPT and Canva, you can streamline and enhance your content creation process. Now these tools save time and boost the quality of your posts, allowing you to focus on growth and engagement. Start by using ChatGPT to brainstorm some post ideas. Open up ChatGPT and type something like, give me five Instagram post ideas for a travel blog or suggest some engaging content ideas for a fitness page. The AI will then generate a list of creative ideas tailored to your niche. This can be a really great way to kickstart your content planning, especially if you're feeling a little bit stuck or uninspired. Next, use ChatGPT to help write your captions. Simply ask it to write a motivational caption for a workout post or create a catchy caption for a travel photo. ChatGPT can provide you with a range of options from short and snappy to longer, more detailed captions. You can then tweak these suggestions to fit your style and tone. Head over to Canva and browse their templates designed specifically for Instagram. Choose a template that matches your brand's aesthetic and the type of content that you're looking to create, whether it's a quote or a promotional post or a tutorial. Now, after selecting your template, customize it by adding your images and adjusting the colors to match your brand palette and insert your text. Now Canva's drag and drop interface makes it incredibly easy to create professional looking posts without needing any design experience. Now you can also use Canva's built-in tools to add elements like stickers, frames, and animations to make your posts way more engaging. So once your design is complete, export it in high resolution. So make sure to choose the right dimensions for Instagram posts or stories. After exporting, you are ready to upload it directly to Instagram. Don't forget to add your captions and any relevant hashtags to maximize reach. So using AI tools like ChatGPT and Canva not only saves time, but also really ensures that you're consistently producing high quality content. These tools can spark creativity and provide new ideas that you might not have thought of, keeping your content fresh and engaging. Plus, by automating parts of the content creation process, you can focus more on interacting with your audience and growing your community. Now, using hashtags strategically. Hashtags are a really powerful tool still to increase your reach on Instagram but using them correctly is key here. So let me show you how to do this. 
So you wanna mix popular and niche hashtags. To maximize your reach, you're gonna to want to combine popular hashtags with some niche specific ones. So open up Instagram here and open up the search bar and type in a popular hashtag to see how many posts it has. Now type in a more niche hashtag like home workout tips. You'll notice the difference between the volume. By using both of these types, you will be able to reach a much broader audience that will be able to engage deeply with your content. Now, research your hashtags before using them. Let's head over to the search bar again. This time, start by typing a keyword relevant to your niche and see what suggestions pop up. You can also use a tool like Hashtagify, bring it up, type in your main keyword and check out the related hashtags that it actually recommends. This will help you find trending but less saturated hashtags that are perfect for your post. Now use branded hashtags as well. Consider creating a unique hashtag for your brand or maybe a specific campaign. So for example, if you're running a fitness challenge, then you could use something like hashtag 30 day fit with and then your name. Now this would encourage your followers to use that hashtag, making it easy for you to track user generated content and build a community around your brand. Now, while you might be tempted to use the maximum 30 hashtags per post, more isn't always better here. Instead, stick to 10 to maybe 15 hashtags that are most relevant to your content. This makes your content look clean and focused, helping attract the right followers. Let's talk about how to effectively engage with your audience. Now, remember when we talked about scheduling the time for engagement earlier in the content calendar? This is where that comes into play. Allocating at least 30 minutes each day for engagement is really crucial for building a community and encouraging more interaction on your posts. So here's how to make the most of your time. Set aside a proportion of that 30 minute block specifically to reply to comments on your posts. So replying to each individual one can really make your followers feel valued and heard. It also increases engagement on your post, which can really help boost its visibility on the platform. Spend the next part of your engagement time going through your followers' profiles. Click on a follower's profile now and engage with their latest post by liking and leaving a thoughtful comment. This regular interaction helps build a stronger connection and can really encourage them to engage with your content in return. So in the remaining time, let's open up your Instagram stories and use some interactive features. Click on the sticker icon and select the poll or question sticker. Add a question or a poll to your story. Something simple like, what kind of content would you like to see more of? This encourages direct interaction from your followers and can really provide valuable insights for your content strategy. Now remember, Instagram is all about building relationships. So the more you engage with your followers, the more likely they are to engage with you. So use the last few minutes of your daily engagement block to leave meaningful comments on other people's posts in your niche. Make sure these comments add value and aren't just generic. This encourages way more genuine engagement. By consistently fostering this two-way conversation and making the most of your scheduled engagement time, you are not just increasing your engagement metrics, but you are building a really loyal community around your brand. Here is a game changer that most people overlook using your analytics effectively. Now, Instagram's insights tool isn't just a feature, it is a secret weapon to understand exactly what your audience loves and how to engage with them better. So let's jump into Instagram insights. And over here, you are gonna see valuable information over which posts are driving the most engagement, the types of stories that keep your followers hooked and the best times to actually post based on when your audience is most active. These insights are essential to fine tuning your strategy and staying ahead of the curve. So most people skip over their analytics, but that is a really big mistake. By diving deep into this data, you can see what is really working for your account. For example, if you notice that your reels are getting more likes and shared than your photos, it is time to focus more on video content. Or if you see that engagement peaks in the late afternoon, 
then adjust your posting schedule to match that. Using this data to make informed decisions about your content ensures that you're always optimizing and growing efficiently, giving you an edge over others who aren't paying attention. So now that you are equipped with these powerful strategies, let's do a really quick recap to make sure that you are ready to apply them. Start by setting your clear goals and creating a well thought out plan. Optimize your profile to make a really strong first impression and diversify your content to keep your audience engaged. Then use hashtags to strategically broaden your reach and make daily engagement a habit to foster a loyal community. Finally, don't ignore your analytics. Using this data is key to refining your strategy and achieving consistent results. Now put these strategies into action today and watch your Instagram grow. I would love to hear which tip you're most excited to try and which you might be dreading a bit. So drop a comment below and share your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insider tips on growing your social media presence. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, which is gonna be coming up either side. See you in the next one, bye-bye.